All right. So what we've got here, we've got a brand spanking new Bozolita, and uh, you said Brad Tarp made it, and so we need to shape it. And part of the reason we need to shape it is because, you know, a horse's jaw isn't shaped like that. It's, it's more square, more like that. Um, so we, we, need to, we need to shape the bars of it here. But then also this one, the way he made this nose button, is what he did is he started on this side and this side and braided to the middle and the, the terminating knot is in here. And he did a really good job of hiding it. Um, but I can, I can see where it is. And it makes it just, just by virtue of, of Brad doing a really good job and, and making those good tight braids that it's, it almost comes to a little point right here that maybe the camera can't quite pick up, but the, the eye can see that, that it almost comes to a little point right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause it to sit on the horse's muzzle like that, and there's going to be that, a space right there. Um, and so we're going we're gonna to lose the effect, the, the um, signal of that nose button rotating on the, col on the horse's nose. So we're going to shape this up, and shaping them up is easy. This is Ictamol or something like that. Uh, it, anything about this size, any of these drawing tabs or, or that, uh, any of the cut stuff you, you get on them, they fit, they make pretty good. And, and you see how it's pushing it down in there. Of course, you can't see because my hand's in the way. Pushing it down in there widens out that, that jaw. So then we just take. Wrap it around there. And rawhide has a tendency to to make a memory of the shape that you that you shape it. So if you have a hackmore and you don't use it much, um, sometimes you gotta gotta do this every couple of years. But for the most part, you teach them their shape and they remember it. So I don't have that super, super tight because I don't need it to be super tight. I just need it to be tight enough that it, that it wraps around here pretty good and picks up this shape. And then because that, that nose wants to be just a little pointy, I've got a Banamine bottle here. I'm going to fit right in there and it's going to round that up. And so what I'm going to do is I'll probably leave this like so for about a week. And then when I take these out, it'll, it'll be over exaggerated. But once I put it on a horse and, and use it a couple of times, then it'll find the, find the true shape of the jaw and, uh, and be just the way I want it and, and stay that way. And so that's what we do. Uh, I've done another video, I think, um, where I've got some blocks that I've made that are, are relatively the shape of the jaw. And I like those and they work good, but I just wanted to show this method. You can pick up kind of anything you got laying around the saddle house. And, uh, you know, mason jar works. There's a, there's a lot of little things that work. And uh, if you're like me and you've got lots of hackmores, and I've got some of them with different, different shapes that I want, so I've got a variety of things in there that I've collected over the years that I used to, to get them the way I want them. But I think this is gonna, gonna fit really well when it's all said and done. So there you go, quick and easy and relatively painless. Okay, <clears throat> so the other day, um, did a little quick video. Um, got him riding a horse for, his name's Mike. He got this, this new Bozolita for the horse. Um, riding him in the terrain and it was brand spanking new and uh, hadn't been shaped and it was it was kind of like that shape and so I did a little video about how I how I was shaping it and you see now how it's more the contour of a horse's face uh, fits a little better this this is kind of a different braid that's been done on this and so it's not quite having the memory I expected it to um, so it's been like 10 days ago now, or maybe a little longer, that I shaped it, that I've been putting it, taking it off, riding the horse with it, and uh, putting it back on to shape, putting the stuff back on there to shape, 
I mean, I let it set for a day or two uh, to see if it, if it had learned its memory yet, and it's pretty close. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to putting it on on the shaper for a few days because I want to get that just a little more square like that. But I talked about in that other video how uh, the guy that braided this to terminate the the braid he went he went this way and this way and then terminated it here and it was it had come to a to a point here because of that braid which is it's there's nothing wrong with that that's a good way to do it but no matter how good you hide your ends you'll get a little bit of a bulge there and it'll be to a point and that wanted to be to a point to where it wouldn't sit flat on a horse's nose and there would have been a, a gap there and we would have lost a lot of our our signal so I've pretty well got this rounded out just exactly the way I wanted it, it sits real real flat on a horse's face um, right here I'm still still letting it learn a little bit more memory and uh, get that just a hair square I'm, I'm exaggerating that with my hand but at least it's not like this this is how it was where where it was really didn't fit very good but um, so there you go it's, if you look at the video side by side you'll see that this thing really shaped up pretty nice in a in a short time and uh, shape on it a little bit more and, and it'll it'll get that memory and I've talked about this I think several different times um, sometimes you shape one get it exactly the shape you want it and, and use it for a while like that and then then uh, you know especially with the two rain outfit once you put that horse in the bridle what well, might be another three four years before you go to put another one in the bridle well, if it's been hanging there all that time, it will lose its memory and you'll have to reshape it. So, you know, over the course of a Hackamore's life, which is forever, uh, they may need may need to get thrown on the block and get shaped every once in a while. Um, I've got some old, old ones that, that, uh, that, are, that are sure enough old. Every once in a while, they, they need to get reshaped. Um, so anyway, that's all there is about that.